Okay, well, if we keep our wits about us, all we know is the rule that wherever I see an x, I'm going to replace it by whatever's in here. So since I see an a, all I'm going to do is wherever I see an x, I'm going to put an a. So I'd see 2a squared minus 1. Not a big deal. So I admit, I don't know what number that is, but that's the answer. That's what the thing equals. Okay, let's try actually another example. How about if I give you this function, g of x equals 1 over x plus 3. So there's a new function. Now let's evaluate this in a few places. What's g of 2? Well, g of 2, wherever I see an x, I'm just going to insert a 2. And so that's 1 fifth. You see, once you get the hang of this, this really is sort of a piece of cake. Let's see, what's g of, I mean, you can put anything in here. For example, here, let me give you an example. Suppose I want to know what is g of rubber ducky. Well, it doesn't make a difference what I put in here. Whatever I put in here, I'm just going to replace all the appearances of x by that thing. So in this case, I see 1 over rubber ducky, whoops, sorry about that, rubber ducky plus 3. You see, it's really just a substitution. This is just a symbol, which means to find out what, where this function sends x, you just do this. So if I put in a 2, you put in a 2 for all the occurrences of x. If you see a rubber ducky, you put a rubber ducky in wherever you see an x. That's all there is to it. Let's try one last one. h of x, a different function. By the way, notice I don't have to call them f always, by the way. That's another thing I want to point out to you. You don't have to always say f of x. You can call it anything. It's just the name of the little machine. So maybe one's called f, one's called g, one's called h. It's nothing at all complicated. Once I write g of x equals this, that means that I'm just calling this whole thing g. It's the G machine. The G machine, in this case, is 1 over x plus 3. The F machine from earlier on was uh, you know, 2x squared minus 1, and so on. The H machine here, these are just you know, sort of literally random letters, is the square root of x squared minus 1. Notice, by the way, it's not plus or minus the square root. It's just positive square root, so it is a function. Now, what would h of uh, 1 equal? Well, h of 1, wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug in 1. So I see a 1 squared. 1 squared is 1. Minus 1 is 0. This is the square root of 0, which equals 0. What is h of 2? h of 2 would equal the square root of, I put in a 2 here. So I'd see 2 squared minus 1, which equals 4 minus 1, which is 3. So the square root of 3. So this notation just allows us to quickly figure out what values equal without writing out, find the value for y in this expression if we let x equals 2. Instead, I just say h of 2. And h of 2 means exactly this, that same thing of what I just said. Find the value for y when x equals 2. So this function notation just allows us to get rid of a neat mathematical tongue twister.